How's it going? Today we're we'll playing some team on the top lane. We're we'll going a different kind of build. We're going to try a static shiv out since that has like a pretty high AP ratio. So we're going to see how much damage we can really do with it since that just kind of got added back into the game. They changed it up a bit so now it's like more scaling with AP, which is pretty cool though. It's always nice to have like kind of a different um, build you can do with like the older items and changing them back. Going up against Jax, we're doing like Lethal Temple. Uh, we'll go get E first. Maybe max Q against him. So that way he can't auto attack us really. So I don't really know what to kind of go right after Static Shift. Might just go just like a Mythic like Ludens. I guess we'll see though. I kind of want to build like as much AP as possible just to make Static Shift do the most. I can even go like Storm Razor too as well since that does have AP ratios in it. We could do like a mixed build. Both like AD and AP. But I kind of just want to get as much damage with the Static Shiv though. Since that skills with AP only. It's not the worst trade. I didn't get to get my Q in on him early enough. No, oh, I thought I clicked that minion. He's probably backing now. If I max Q, the duration goes up more. I think we'll just do that just to be safe. Since he just really does more auto attack damage. So that'll just be better for us anyways. So I could go like Storm Razor 2. Gives you the 50%. Yes, oh, I thought my W could outrun him. Let's get the back. Alright, so... We could just get this shard right now. Give us some extra magic damage. So I kind of want to just keep maxing Q. We'll just keep doing that for now. So Mythic, we could go... Either like Ludens, Leandries, or Riftmaker. Actually, not. I'm not a huge fan of like Riftmaker. Probably just go like Ludens. But I'm still tempted to get like Stormer. Just to do like a huge amount of damage with like one auto attack. And then you could like rapid fire cannon too as well. Okay, he did back and buy another item. See, that's why maxing the Q against him was, is good right there. That way he couldn't get any extra few auto attacks on me like that. We got his flash too. Yes, sir. We still have our ghost and flash. 
Probably could have ghosted like earlier before when he jumped in on me like that. Could have gotten a kill, but that's okay. I don't know if he has TP. Sweet. Oh, it's first blood. I didn't even know that. Good thing the lethal temple proc that we would get the extra attack range. That actually got us that kill there. Probably should just back and play it safe. I'll throw a mine there. We'll go ahead and back down. Crit's gonna be interesting. Wait, no, we're not even going that. Doing this same build though. So the crit, go attack speed, get some boots, get a little bit of advantage on there. He doesn't have boots yet. So if we go static shiv, we go like Leandri's. Let me see what their team is though. I mean, they're gonna have some high HP. So. Probably will do Leandri's and then maybe into like a death cap right after. Since death cap is going to give us more damage on static shiv and everything else that we have going on for us. Plus they changed the death cap. So that way it's a higher percentage for AP scaling now. I can't really get these minions, which is good. I just can't get these two pushed in on the tower, though. I kind of want to get some of these. Let's see if I can get my mind to hit some. There we go. Keep them right here. Perfect. Now his wave should come crashing right here. Sweet. Now he doesn't really have a good spot to jump on me. See, it's good that we got that Q maxed. An ally has been slain. We ghost up in 70 seconds. Killing spree. He doesn't have flash yet. Yeah, the only damage he's going to have is just uh, the damage when he has that stun. <laughs> he was kind of uh, dead there. He was going to be stuck in between the mines and then the, the wave too. So he was kind of stuck. We did get his ult now too. We'll put up a mine right there just in case. Brilliant soul jump scare. Uh, 130 gold. So we'll just stay. Get this pushed in again. Keep maxing Q. This seems to be the best. Got the ghost. Alright, we're just going back now. Bring our should be fine with this. The wave is up here. He's not going to come down anytime soon. Alright, static shiv is good, then we can go Leandri's now. Nashers wouldn't be too bad with this build also, since we're going to have a pretty good amount of attack speed. This gives us 25% with the crit and attack damage as well, which is why I kind of went lethal temple. So you can even go like a Lich Bane. There's so much stuff you can do with this build. So I'm not too sure exactly what I kind of want to do yet. Just put some mines up there for defense. 
kill him now. Flash right into my mind. See those those mine placements right there were perfect. He jumped on one, flashed on one. Got him slowed. And again, maxing that Q can be a, a huge game changer against uh, someone like Jaxi for Teemo. Look at that static shit, look at that. Really good for pushing. Tower. So this is going to be pretty good. Hit six targets too. So in team fights, if I keep running around a good amount, it's going to proc a couple times. So do I get attack speed or source? Um... I feel like we're going to have like a lot of attack speed. I don't think I need it. Actually, we'll just do... We'll do this for now. I kind of just want to get the finished boots against their team. They got a lot of movement speed, so I kind of need to... Be up just a little bit farther ahead above them. Just to kite. Especially against like Jax. If I get Skarner ulted, Jax jumps on me or really and soul gets me with his W. I'm going to get stuck, so I need to stay on the upper hand. He's only level 7. He's not really that big of a threat. Throw some mines up over here. Because I want to stay up in the top lane still. I just got to be careful, though. Even though Jax doesn't have like a full built item, if he goes all in on me, he could still possibly kill me. Especially with Skarner right there. Got the flash out of that. I think Skarner flashed me. I wasn't paying attention. I, I know he ulted me for sure, but I'm pretty sure that he flashed right there to get closer to me. I wasn't really paying that much attention, but. Fortunately, I use both Ghost and Flash, but that's why we have Ghost on right now. Ghost is really strong. And I don't really think you need Ignite against uh, certain matchups with Teemo. Right, we can keep rocking that. Yeah, he's going to be kind of camping up here a lot with how much my uh, bounty's worth. Can't believe he actually stayed still. smited me. My Q's not up. Dang, that was close. I'm still gonna kill him though. If he didn't smite me, I would have lived. That extra 78 damage. I was close. Can even go like a Dark Seal too. Maybe we'll go Dark Seal after Leandri's, depending on uh how well we're still doing if we're still staying alive. Dragon's up in a minute. I'll start the head mid. I don't have TP, so... 
I don't know if I kind of want to go top right now. With the dragon coming up. I'll throw a mine over here too as well. Alright, yeah, we gotta get ready. We're gonna have like a team fight probably. We'll see how Static Shiv does. It's already done 400 damage. I barely even really attacked that much. Only thing it doesn't do is give you the extra movement speed like the um, Storm Razor. That's why I couldn't really uh, stay away from the um, Skarner. I didn't have Ghost either. Probably not a good fight at all, yeah. We're missing uh, two people. Oh, well, I actually got the jinx. There we go. I've been exhausted. I get some static shift procs. Nice. The static shift with the lethal temple is so good. The extra range and the attack speed and everything like that is so good. Especially with Ghost too. I can keep procking the static shift so much with that. It's actually a really good combo now. Oh, that sucks. I have to keep pushing this in. Well, there's no way that I just took his health down that from one auto attack with static. I wasn't able to see what that was. That honestly could have been me. Let's see. Oh, that was close. He's healing though. Get some more static. Look at that. Took out the whole wave. Plus, it probably hit someone else, too, right after that wave. So it's pretty good for uh, poking, too. So our 125 attack, 111 AP. But yeah, we definitely should just get out of here right now. We stayed way too long. I'll help him out, though. That would definitely get out of here. I'm out. Or maybe I'm in. Nah. Nah, it's best to just get out. We can't, we can't fight that. Shut down. Throw mine over here. We can get our Le Leandries now, too. Will that. That should proc. Dealing damage with abilities. Mm. I don't think that's going to proc it, but we'll still build it, though. Still a good item on Teemo. Now we'll probably either go Dark Seal with the Death Cap, just for uh, maximized AP. Yeah, because this only procs with just an attack. This is with the ability. I finally had like ghost or flash. You have to be careful that I don't know where Skarner is. Nice. Oh, in the jungle top. That's all you need to do is just one mushroom and then the static shift. I 
It's cool that procs on turrets too. Stay. I'm already too low. I just gotta get out. Not feed them. My bounty either too. I don't know where Ringler was during that fight. Oh, who's behind them? All right, let's go get the dark seal and then start getting death cap since it's 40% now. So it's going to really empower the static. Swiftly. And as you level up too, it even gets stronger without even having any AP. Your turret has been destroyed. All right, you get some Mines placed out. Nice. It's good that we took him out. Jax isn't here. He has TP, but he has TP now. I need to get some mines over here. Off his auto attacks. Next off the Q uh, Jinx. I could honestly just probably kill her if I just keep queuing her. He might be stuck, yeah. He's probably just gonna run into tower. I'm not gonna bother chasing. I don't need the mine to push in the wave, so we're just going to throw them up just for defense. A lot of them are coming back up alive, we just got to take the tower and leave. And I can buy the large rod, throw a mine down here just for vision, and we'll go ahead and back now. That 60 AP is going to be helpful too. We'll see how much more it gives us with static. So, 454 four against the minions. 520, nice. And once you finish death cap, it's going to do even a lot more. Spot. Are you still chasing me? No way. Am I dead? No. Oh man, Aurelian Soul is still pretty strong, even after all those nerfs. Jesus. This game's turning around pretty badly at some points. See, like, we have some good fights and then some really bad pick-offs. Like our uh, support getting picked off. But then we have, like, Salt Lake Jacks here. Take a free red buff. Alright, let's go top lane. Dragon's on up for another two minutes, so I got time to push in a wave. Throw another mine down here. 
And throw a mine up here. Let's get this pushed in. Oh wow, you wanna <laughs> I didn't realize that I took out the whole uh, archer wave right there. One shot them. I was like, how come they're not coming? Alright, we need to get out of here. Well, there's Jackson scarring the bottom. But if this guy flies on me, I'm dead. Look at that. Crazy clear. Alright, we got... Still kind of geared towards bot, but... Definitely need to go help out now. Jax is pushing bottom, so I'll just go top then. With the Baron buff in this, it should be good. We can get Death Cat too if we back. We'll see how far we can get though. We're melting this tower. I mean, we could probably just end it. Kind of wanted to get death cap though. Or just get this inheritor and back. They're all coming up anyways. We'll let them have fun with that wave. Alright. So now we got death cap. 825 dominions. That's crazy. And I have enough for no, I still need 50 gold. I can't even undo it. Oh well. Let's just quickly go kill. A camp and then back and buy that. Alright, let's go ahead and get our Magi's. I think that they might actually just end it, but. I just wanted to get some more items just to see how much more damage I could do. Alright, 460. With 160 attack. The attack's actually pretty good. Alright, let's go Danny Phantom Ghost. And... See if we can pick someone off. That was a little upset she couldn't get any kills. So static shit was pretty good though. Super helpful for uh, farming in the lane. Getting extra like poke on there too is really good. That was really fun. Not too bad damage. Kind of just farmed and chilled for the most part but i really like the uh the static shift that, that did like a lot of extra uh, damage just the item itself not bad not bad all right thanks guys for watching